Well, we're with the king of rapids. Magnus Carlsen has taken at least that title. Not that it means anything as far as this tournament is concerned, but at least he's shown that he is indeed the best player in the world and starting off the Grand Chess Tour quite well. Magnus, you, could, you seem to have some hiccups earlier today. You didn't have really smooth performances. And this game wasn't that smooth either. It looked a little bit unclear. What was your feeling overall as the, the game was transpiring? Okay, I mean, what do you want me to do? So, I mean, I, I, take, I take the piece and then, I mean, of course, he, he hasn't done anything particularly wrong. Of course, he's not going to be lost. I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? I don't, I don't want anything. I just want to see just chess getting played. Yeah, but I, I mean, you're talking about, I mean, that the game wasn't smooth enough. I, I'm, again, what do, you, what do you want me to do? I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, well. I mean, do you want me to to get a huge advantage from from the opening and then to push it all the way? Is that the only way you can win a smooth game? Is that your point? Oh, not at all, Magnus. But certainly the game was tricky enough. Let me get your thoughts on how you. Yeah, but done I, so I ju far. I'm just feeling that the the whole, you know, the whole, the way you're approaching it is trying to belittle the whole thing. That's my only issue. My apologies, Magnus. We definitely have respect for you as a world champion. So. Don't take it any offense to what we're trying to say. We're just trying to do commentary. You've got this out of the way now. It's time for Blitz. Your thoughts on your rest of the tournament? I mean, it, it's, it's, looking, it's looking okay. Grishuk is doing extremely well, so he's, um, uh, and um, he's, he's doing well, but um, I'm hopeful, hopeful that I can continue to, um, to, um, to, yeah, to win not-so-smooth games. <laughs> Magnus, thanks so much for your thoughts yeah. and good luck in the rest of the games. Yeah, and of course yesterday this uh, interview with uh, Maurice, uh, there was a lot of talk about it. Um, how do you look back at it? Because um, to me it seemed you, you had a bit of a point. Your game with Bakro was pretty good actually, and uh, at the same time your, yeah, your, reaction, your reaction was quite fierce. Uh, how do you look back at this? Um, well, it also had something to do with, uh, I mean, the way they were talking uh, on the way in, like... Uh, uh, saying stuff like Krishuk is the favorite um, and I mean um, he, he did well enough but I, I, I think when you make seven out of nine and undefeated I mean it should be um, there should be some credit to that uh, and apart from the game with Karyakin I basically didn't have any bad positions at all and whatever mistakes I made were like quite hard to spot so uh, yeah, I just felt that. Uh, I mean, it w the the angle was way too too negative. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's always possible to to stand there and and say nothing, but I was not in a mood to do that. So.